Hello everyone out there on the internet, this is John, welcome back to the Fat Hipster channel. And today, we are going to be tasting a new item from Arby's, who happens to have the meats. And this is a new sandwich they just came out with. It is the first time Arby's ever came out with a burger. And they're calling this the Wagyu Steakhouse Burger. If you look at the ingredients, it's actually a beef blend that includes Wagyu. It doesn't say what percentage is the Wagyu, but it also says mixed with regular ground beef. I imagine the amount of Wagyu to ground beef is relatively small, but enough for them to legally be able to claim that it's a Wagyu blended burger. It comes with processed American cheese, what they're calling hamburger sauce, uh, garlic and dill pickles, shredded lettuce, tomatoes, red onions on a brioche bun. Uh, it also comes in a bacon ranch variety, and that one has bacon and Parmesan peppercorn ranch, and they get rid of the hamburger sauce that's on this one. So I have just the regular, which they call the deluxe. So deluxe is regular, and then Bacon Ranch is the upcharged one. So here you have it. You can see they have their shredded lettuce, their tomato. Shredded lettuce that keeps falling off onto my desk. It should move things around, so when I move it, I actually can catch it and not have burger sauce all over my desk. There you go. What's inside of here? lettuce, tomato. On the other side we have more sauce and the burger which looks very dark. Potentially burned when I bite into it we'll see what it looks like in the middle. But the edge of it is, is pretty darkly colored. Let's give it a taste. Here's a cross section. You can see it's a decently thick burger. I think they said it's six ounces of burger total. It's definitely confined within the bun. Nothing carrying over. Um, but a decent thickness. There's actually a little tinge of color in the middle of the burger. So it's not completely blasted to death with heat. Mm. Their burger sauce is actually very well, very good. Now we all know burger sauce is really just ketchup and mayo mixed together, but this one at least uses um, a flavorful ketchup and or mayo combination. They have uh, pretty good tomatoes. The lettuce is crunchy. So fresh lettuce, fresh tomato. The exterior of the burger is a little chewy, but I think the middle of it is done fairly well. I ordered this off of DoorDash and it was $9.99. It probably is a little bit cheaper if you buy it at the store. For a company who's never made a burger before, 
This is a very good first attempt. The burger's not bad. Could have a beefier flavor to it, but it's not bland. It does have a nice chew to it. Besides the exterior that was a little blackened, the interior is fine. The brioche bun with its slight sweetness works very well with this. The garlic dill pickle chips on there really went well. The burger sauce was really the most tasty flavorful part of this I will say um, so if you want to get a bacon one I would ask them to keep the burger sauce on there because the burger sauce was actually very good overall I enjoyed it if you have an Arby's nearby you I would definitely suggest you go out and try the Arby's Deluxe Wagyu Steakhouse Burger. Give it a try. I wouldn't call it a steakhouse burger. I think they put steakhouse to kind of emphasize the Wagyu part of it. But uh, if you get rid of the, if even if you get rid of the words Wagyu, and just have like this Arby's new um, burger. Throwaway Wagyu, throwaway steakhouse, it's still a good cheeseburger by itself. And yeah, I recommend you going out and trying it for yourself. It gives the thumbs up seal of approval for me. With some curly fries and a Coke, very good meal. It's a little expensive compared to some other fast food places, but pretty good uh, burger altogether. Um, some suggestions I would give to improve this, I would maybe like round out the burger a little bit more so that it filled out the bun. Um, I felt like it was kind of like too far in to the bun. If it was a little bit more rounded out, same size, just thin it out, round it out, make it fill the bun a little bit better, uh, just so you get more meat to bun ratio as you eat the whole thing. Um, I think that will also help in making it cook more evenly so that it's not burnt on the outside to get the inside to be cooked as well as you want it to be. And other than that, I really don't have any uh, complaints about it. It gives the thumbs up. It gets the recommend. And I hope this video gets a thumbs up from you. A subscription so you can see more of what I have coming. But until my next video, I'll have to say farewell and goodbye for now.